um, just had my lunch of ice cream. Yeah, I eat really healthy. Um, so I want to talk about something just very quickly. Hopefully, I'm I'm quick in this video. Um, um, because you you can read on the um the posting what I wrote, wrote about. Um, just kind of trying to explain because I posted a video I believe last week or might have been the end of the first week is the um the way the week the month has fallen. Um and um um I lost my train of thought actually. <laughs> um yeah that's what I were were about that I was concerned for my own um existence because there's so much there's so much out here with um, people who have influence, who have power, but choose to, choose not to. Um, so let me just kind of reset here. Going back eight years ago, I was perceived as someone who believed in his own cause because he lived it and was hoping that he can live his own better life by being more of an outspoken advocate. And, um, I was basically, by the end of April of 2016, I was basically, um, shown the door basically um i was basically stonewalled um i he started to really realize how people didn't even and this is where i would double down on the awareness because i'd go so far to say maybe 2019 was the year that i really realized how really bad it was and how little people know how little people in the field want to go and manipulate people um because it's it, you're rewarded for you don't even get paid a lot but you get paid you you get compensated for abusing people um gaslighting being a narc basically and so i had my paternal family reunite with me that only lasted um a year um they're not don't get me started with them. Um, <laughs> and they're very, um, they're my peers. And then it just, everything came to me. Cause when the pandemic happened, everything collided. Um, so everything collided and I started to really figure out no one really understands this. And it's one in 50 people. And now it's one in 36. Now the numbers is almost every other kid's got some, um, some loose nuts. And then, but nobody understands that it, this condition is worse, oh, not worse, but more complex than ADHD. Because that's the one that they can name off the, the alphabet. You know, ASD is really easy because if you have a keyboard, ASD, right? You would think it would be easy. You would think you you think people would get it. No. So it's really each person for their own, literally. Um, I'm not kidding by this. And you have to um you have to um It's like how do you how do you go on your own, um, and just talking about this is just hits me on the rock, but like a rock. But for me to kind of go from the the big picture abstract, um, the overall messaging, um, the other thing that that I talked to somebody about last week was most likely this might have to do something with um with social media and politics, not necessarily the red and, and the blue and the right and the left, but just what is feel good politics to do for April? What's a feel good politics to do in March versus May? And the stuff that I don't follow that much, um, or people or individuals or groups or whatever, that I believe March was the developmental disabilities awareness month or, or, or what have you. Then we get into mental health awareness, which, which is like the the second most important thing. Yes, the mental health, um, and it, I don't know if it's a middle child thing or what, but why do we keep forgetting these people? And then 
you know, people will write in comments that I'll leave to challenge other people. Interesting username. Well, what leads into hopelessness is being forgotten and not being seen. If the system, if the private institutions or the public institutions are writing us off, what about the social institutions like the content creators, like the names I mentioned about a couple of weeks ago? If these people really did matter and, and, they're, and they know the subject enough, they should know better to not bring in other disorders as we go into April. Um, letting your house blue or walk in red or, or what have you, um, those are little things and I don't mean to belittle them because the underlying problems are so deep rooted that I think had accelerated in the last 20 years regarding to, you know, complex IDGs like ASD, autism, um, people who have been diagnosed with various dis developmental delays in DSM-4 versus DSM-5. Um, there are so many, like, issues that we all have to talk about. And it shouldn't be you and me, but be more people who have a higher pay grade that aren't even talking about it. And so... It's it's very like to me I'm so burnt out that I really um do all this stuff right now just to kinda um in the last year, two years. I think the again the mainstream media was a lost cause. Like not even I'd say the last ten years the media has given up on my group except for like the news hour. I'll I'll post a link um about um the, the most recent story on them. Um, it wasn't autism specific, I should be fair. I mentioned it in the Robert McNeil um, video, but that, that um, it's alkable. Let's put it this way. It's blatantly alkable to people like me. And that was like probably the last, I don't think even the commercial media has even talked about the shortage of direct support professionals for adults. Um, so we're kind of... Um, we're kind of in this situation as a society where people aren't listening and people like me, we're to be ignored. If any, if you even subtly, you mean you try to go the subtle course of questioning Bob Wright's organization, um, you're too close to the advocates or activists, and the activists are noisy and dysregulated as fuck, to be blunt. They are the most, um, the other thing that I didn't, um, I'm not going to talk about in this video because I really don't know the subject matter, but I've heard this imposter syndrome, um, on, um, social media and there's even books about it. Um, I would go so far to say that my life experiences with it, I might, part of having a certain type of autism, autistic disorder is like perpetual imposter syndrome where you'll never be enough. And I don't think anyone's going to talk about that either. Um, so I am working on a project where um, some of my stuff I used to do on my news gathering account. I um, To be honest, people were so freaked out by it that my channel's been trashed with hateful comments and downvotes. Um, they find it really perverted that I do live action, live to tape video of Lego minifigures. Um, yeah, it's, that was very, I, I, controversy and Stephen Clickford, um, <laughs> go hand in hand. They, they're like, they're besties. Um, I'm working on a project, um, and I think you guys might like it. And I think, um, I, I will probably... Um, just given what's been going on with the infrastructure downstairs and everything just being out of whack, um, I'm hoping that I can do a pilot by the end of the month. Um, I already done a proof of concept on that. Like I said, the weekly is in the purple pill. That will be coming up um, um, when I return next week. And again, I'm so bounded by the corporate dominatrixes. And I'm like, get me out of this goddamn bitches. It should be... Um, Sooner around later, so 
Well, that being said, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in another video. Bye.